Most MMORPGs were originally inspired by tabletop gaming to some degree, and although that may be harder to notice today, Eternal Tombs is a new MMO being developed who just showed off their first reveal trailer and discussed making an MMO where dungeon masters control the world and the events happening in real time. Showing off the progress of their MMO and explaining the vision for this new MMO that was formerly known as Dragnaroks, but has since changed the name to Eternal Tombs recently. Can an MMO exist where the GMs control and run events non-stop and create adventures based on what the player base is doing? The idea is that the Dungeon Masters or the GMs of this new MMO would have the tools to spawn events, creatures, traps, treasures, and simulate an adventure in real time to keep every play session fresh and interesting. Can it be possible that a group of Dungeon Masters could keep up with an entire server of people to make an immersive experience? It makes the imagination go wild with possibilities for sure, and if you've played MMOs long enough, you probably realize or can think back that some of the most exciting moments are when some sort of unexpected event that the GMs plop out into the world happens and the server all gathers up to take it on. It's even more exhilarating when it is unannounced and random. If Eternal Tombs can pull this off in an MMORPG, that would be amazing and would lead people to logging in more often for fear of missing out on something cool or logging back in to find their guildmates talking about some big event that took place or seeing the aftermath of like a broken bridge crumbled pieces of it floating in the river below and learning that a dragon had attacked it during the night. Eternal Tombs is on my radar as a possible exciting new MMORPG, although it's easy to be skeptical about the vision, how many people are on the team, and can they truly sustain a population with enough content and events from their team. Now, I'd like to mention that they do plan to do a lot of automated events as well. So they will have pre-planned kind of things that happen in the world, like a siege on a town from goblins, for example, secretly plotted by the dev team for a certain time and date, but the players will be unaware until it starts to happen. And mix in these planned events with tools for the dungeon masters to be able to throw in some extra things. Perhaps in this example, the goblins are getting a proper thwomping from the player base, and the devs are watching and realize it's just not exciting enough. A loud trumpet blares in the distance, and a horde of goblins leading a few wyvern join the fray. Or they pull out some catapults and begin launching fiery masses of AoE deadliness down on the players. This is the kind of bigger ideas to their Dungeon Master's strategy for this MMO. Of course, there will be smaller examples as well, such is a group of adventurers in a dungeon and they are plunging deep into it. Perhaps a dungeon master sees them and decides to throw a few traps in or maybe even reward them with something unique for their bravery. The dungeon master could even jump in the role of a boss and give dynamic chat and control the boss while they fight it. These kind of ideas are fascinating and could make for an awesome gaming experience. The real question is, can this team pull it off in a believable and immersive way? There is no doubt that the Eternal Tombs team has a wonderful idea for their new MMO and the heavy influence of tabletop RPGs is absolutely commendable. Looking at their trailer, Eternal Tombs is still in an earlier state of development, but the graphics themselves look fine. They do, however, need a bit more and better animation on some of the models for sure, but if this new MMO can simulate a dungeon master controlling the world and keeping the players busy and keeping the world interesting, then a lot of people can get over the graphics or the animation for the sake of good and fun and engaging and immersive gameplay. Now let's talk about these dungeon masters and who they are. They will be controlled by the staff or the developers of the game. They will not be players. I could see at some point in the future, however, the game is successful and they might find some new staff members from the community to help host events and things like that. And although I am really focusing on the real-time events of Eternal Tombs, there is of course an MMO underneath it as well with classes and dungeons and quests and a world to explore. From what I understand, you'll be enjoying this game as an MMO experience akin to classic MMOs like EverQuest with the high possibility of events happening all over the world. 
However, unlike EverQuest, it does look like that since they've swapped the name from Dragnarok's over to Eternal Tombs, that they have went with a more action-based combat system instead of what they were doing, which was Tab Target. Me personally, I think Tab Target just works better, especially when you're simulating a tabletop RPG, but hey, that's my opinion. And Eternal Tombs is a microtransaction-free game. They're hoping to carve enough of a niche to survive without the need for a cash shop, meaning they want all things to be earned in-game. There will be more information on this new MMO, Eternal Tombs, in the coming months, and I'll be watching and keeping you up to date. But tell me what you think of Eternal Tunes from a concept perspective. Do you think the devs will be able to pull off this dungeon master system effectively using tools and pre-planned events? Does it sound like the type of game for you? And drop any questions you have as I am planning out to do an interview with the Eternal Tunes team in order to try to get your questions answered in a future video. If you enjoy MMO and RPG content, please like and subscribe for more. And until next Next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content, and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Zelic Lid, Rodney Mom, Vander, Gallerine Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Trips, Bad Wolf Gaming, Richard Glass, Chrono Guru, Kobold, and William Long. Thank you for your highest tier membership.